Say hello to Losat. Welcome to War Thunder's website. I'm Old Dead Man, your host. We are looking at this devlog for the upcoming craft crafting event, Tokushu Hi 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 Haiki. Oh, man, that's horrible. Tokushu Haiki. The Losat actually refers to the missile, not the vehicle. So in this particular situation, the vehicle should be called the Losat CCVL, which is a this Losat launcher that is put onto a CCVL chassis. All that said, that means we're not going to go into a lot of the technical specs because they should be a familiar from the CCVL and B they aren't out there, at least not in the details on this. Unlike normal ATGMs, this is a kinetic penetrator missile rather than a heat warhead, which gives some advantages, but some distinct disadvantages, especially in this configuration. The missiles leave the tubes at a relatively slow speed until the rocket motor ignites, causing them to drop before the motor takes over and brings it up to speed. This also means that at close range, the missiles will not have enough kinetic energy to penetrate any tanks and won't be actually able to be guided to a target until the motor picks up. The other oddity is that the launcher does not have any vertical guidance, so you have to launch it level with the tank, meaning that firing from behind cover, such as a berm or a low hill, probably won't work. The LOSAT missiles only entered low rate production and the program was canceled in favor of uh, more modern systems at the end of the Cold War. In War Thunder, this special vehicle will be joining rank 7, which, there we go, no fingers, uh, event vehicle tree under the name LOSAT CCVL as part of the coming Tokushu Haiki crafting event. So what do you think of this vehicle? I think it's cute. I think it's interesting. Uh, I do not think it is a must-have vehicle. Uh, unless you're just a collector who wants to top, top out your you know, U.S. tree, it doesn't bring anything that's, uh, that is unique enough to be worth it. The kinetic penetrators look like they're going to be fun uh, just because having that as an option, just interesting. And it means that if you have something that is more proof against heat, this should be able to overcome it as long as it's outside the uh, the range where it'll be sped up and up to speed. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Give me the old thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. You have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video.